Okay, so we're out on site and we're gonna get a demo done of the new Testo Gen 2 Smart Probes. Okay, so I had to duck in behind this unit here because we were getting a little bit of wind distortion out there because it's kind of windy today. It's died down, obviously, as I've come behind this machine, but this is the AC refrigeration and test load kit from Testo. This is their generation two smart probes. We have four probes on the bottom here and we have two at the top and you get two of each. If you just get the AC and refrigeration kit, you're only gonna get these four probes down here. So let me go through the probes one by one and you get two of each, six probes in total. So the first one we're gonna talk about is a Testo 549i. This is your pressure transducer that connects to the system to take readings and it has this 45 degree angle on the brass fitting to make it easier for you to connect up. The second one we're gonna talk about is the 115i. This is your temp clamp that clamps onto piping, okay? It's spring loaded and it has very good spring tension, snaps back very well. And hiding in here is your thermistor that takes the temperature of the pipe. So also you're going to get two Testo 605i thermohygrometers, okay? And the unique part about this is that the head swivels. Okay, and it also has a magnet, so it can stick to the side of a machine, ductwork, you name it. All right, the other thing that I wanted to show you is the sensor is hiding in here. All we gotta do is turn this, okay, and we expose the sensor, not a problem. When you're done, you close it up, stick it back in your case. The case has some nice high density foam in there, okay, nice zipper on it, handle, so we can carry it around to the job site. So we're gonna take some readings with these tools. Let's see what happens. Something very important to keep in mind, each smart probe has a number on the back, okay? 069 for this pressure transducer. Now when we connect them with the app, you need to set these up to where you want them to be, suction or liquid, okay? And you'll see why that's important once we fire up the app and get these things connected. So here's something you can do with these numbers that I do. I know, I know some guys like to put red or blue stickers on these so they know which one goes on liquid and which one goes on suction. But for me, suction pressure is always lower. So what I do is I use the lower number, okay, the designation, and I make that one the suction. The higher number, I make that one the discharge or the liquid line. Same with the temperature clamps. We have a 232 there. We have a 088. So this one here would be on my suction, and this one here would be on my liquid or discharge. That way I don't need to put stickers on these. I just remember the highest number goes with the highest pressure in the system. Okay, so the probes are set up. Here is the liquid line set up. Okay, here's my, my probe on the suction line. I didn't want to tear too much into the insulation, so I went a little further back from the compressor than normal, but this is just a demo, an example of how to use the tool. And I have the pressure transducer here on the suction side. So to do is turn these on one by one so you see the light flashing and now we want to open up the smart probes app on a mobile device okay when we're flashing green we're all paired up to the app this one's flashing green and they all are Here's the app opened up on my phone, okay? And to choose a refrigerant, it's easy. You just hit this drop down arrow, boom, you choose your refrigerant. We're using 404A at the moment. The numbers I was telling you about earlier in the video are at the top left corner, 069750. Those are the numbers on the back of the probes. Now you gotta be careful to make sure that they're in the right spot. The tip I gave you earlier is gonna help you with that. Here's the low and high pressure. Here's your sat 
saturation temperatures, the actual temps that the clamps are picking up, and your superheat and subcooling. Everything viewed on one screen. Now we can add in a probe here. We have the Tesla 605i. We're going to turn that one on as well. And then we can add that in to check outdoor air temp as we're working on the machine. Now it has a magnet, but this surface is painted, so it won't stick there. But I mean, it has a magnet, so it will stick to metal surfaces. So I have the 605i connected to the electrical panel here. And if we go over to the smart probe app again, we want to see that. I'm just going to leave the AC and refrigeration view and I'm going to go into basic view. And then we scroll down and it's the 080 probe that we're looking at. So there is our temp, our RH, our wet bulb, the readings that we want to see out of that tool. So back into AC and refrigeration, a couple touches of a button, we're back in reading our temps and our saturations and our pressures. Very cool stuff guys. This is the Gen 2 Smart Probes from Testo. Happy HVAC.